About 10 months ago-ish, we made this video called the Solid State Drive vs. Hard Drive Torture Test. You guys seem to like it, but also voiced that there were some too many variables with the old drive having all that junk on it. Yeah, we copied it to the new drive, but whatever. Today we're here to address those concerns. Also, don't forget to stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips for more videos in the future where we address your concerns almost a year later. Intel's new 750 series SSDs utilize the NVMe standard, providing speeds never seen before on consumer storage drives. Click now to learn more. Just like last time, we'll be comparing the performance differences of hard drives and solid state drives, as you might have expected. But unlike last time, we'll be using a fresh OS on these drives. This time around, we yet again will have the older model 1TB hard drive and a nice new fresh SSD, but we also have added the older model SSD and a newer model hard drive to get a more well-rounded look at this picture. In the test, we will be doing clean installs on the drives instead of using the dirty install we had on the hard drive from last time. This isn't to say that we've changed our mind. We still like doing real-world testing. I just thought that this time around we would use give all the drives a new clean slate, a, a new beginning, and a fair chance to fight for their category. This isn't a proper sanitized scientific approach to benchmarking these drives, and we still suggest that if you're looking for those types of results, you should check out sites like Storage Review. But while I have removed the variability of junk sitting on the drive to make the results more consistent, I still think this is a great real-world representation of performance because we still get to see the difference between fresh drives and older drives who've held together through rigorous use. The first drive we'll be looking at is the Western Digital 1TB drive, which is an old dog for this race. I used this drive for years in more than a few different home servers, and I honestly beat the crap out of it. It was never really properly cooled, and was rarely screwed in properly, but it's still alive, so it's got that going for it. Next up we have the shiny new 6TB Seagate Enterprise drive. It's fresh out of the box and has either not been used or been used slightly by Linus before this test. Not much though. Either way, it's still super fresh and should be performing to the best of its abilities to give a solid performance benchmark for modern hard drives. Then we get to the SSD, starting with my aging Samsung 830 series SSD. It has uh, seen a lot. I use this drive for benchmarking for a long time, and I like to keep those drives clean, so naturally it's seen more operating installs than any drive I've ever owned. And last but not least is the badass 850 Pro 1TB SSD. This drive normally needs no introduction, but it has a huge capacity for an SSD of 1TB, like I already mentioned, and it's pretty damn fast. So I don't mind having it as a representation of really fast new SATA SSDs. Now that isn't to say that it's as fast as the NVMe drives, but either way. I installed Windows 8.1 as our benchmarking operating system onto the 850 Pro, and after fully updating it and installing all the necessary drivers for our x99 platform system, I installed OpenOffice, because we will be messing around with OpenOffice just like we did in the last video in an attempt to show a real-world representation of performance. After all that was done, I just mirrored that drive onto my other three test drives. First up was restarting and loading up OpenOffice. This is similar to the test we did last time where we restarted and loaded up Firefox to the home page, but should take the drives a little bit longer this time as OpenOffice is definitely a heavier program. This test should be fairly reasonable representation of how long it would take your computer to be usable when performing a restart. Next up was timing how long it takes to uninstall OpenOffice. And then after OpenOffice was uninstalled, timing how long it takes to calculate the size of the C drive. Both of these tests were an attempt to represent how long a fairly standard task would take on each of these drives. In conclusion, not that surprising. Although it is impressive how much faster the 850 Pro is compared to the 830. Of course this doesn't mean hard drives are useless, mind you. You may have noticed that our hard drive is 6 freaking terabytes and they come even larger than that if you happen to need it. That's not all either. Hard drives do tend to be a lot easier to recover data from if you have some sort of disaster because of just how they fundamentally work. But then, as you saw, the SSDs are insanely fast compared to hard drives, even the 830, the older one. If you want to learn more about the differences, check out Linus's Fast as Possible episode on it here. 
All right, guys, was this the test you were looking for when you commented on the last video? I know I'll probably have to redo this at some point to some degree with NVMe drives, but I think that's gonna kind of be down the line once they mature a little bit and once we have more of them to try out. Anyways, let me know again, comments down below over on the forum. While you're here watching the video, like, favorite, dislike, subscribe, share, follow, comment, uh, click on the links in the description. You can see where to buy a cool Linus Tech Tips t-shirt. You can see any affiliate things we have going on down there. Over on the forum, you can see the Help Linus Media Group button where you can see links to our sponsors, how to change your Amazon affiliate code, uh, how to install the, the add-on for the forum where it can change your Amazon affiliate code for you and do some other cool forumy stuff. And become a contributor to the forum if you haven't already because contributors are super cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.